Hi dear students, welcome to educational tutorial. Today we are going to learn another important topic grammar, adverbs and types of adverbs. In this video, we will learn a detailed study about adverbs and the uses of types of adverbs. Let us first know what adverbs are. Adverbs are words which qualify or tell something about a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. Now we will understand adverbs with examples. Look at the first example. My parents work hard. Here the word hard is an adverb which modifies a verb work. And in the second example, my parents work hard. Here we know the word hard is an adverb but another word very is another adverb which modifies the adverb hard. Here the adverb very is modifying another adverb hard. And in the third example, the flowers are very beautiful. Here the word very is an adverb which is modifying an adjective beautiful. So we know an adverb modifies three things. Adverb modifies a verbs and adverbs and an adjective. Now let us learn different types of adverbs. We have adverbs of manner, adverbs of time, adverbs of place, adverbs of frequency, adverbs of degree, adverbs of reason, interrogative adverbs and relative adverbs. Now let us learn different types of adverbs in details. First we have adverbs of manner. These adverbs tell us how an action is done. Adverbs of manner answer the question how. Look at the examples. My uncle drives fast. How my uncle drives fast. So the adverb first is an adverb of manner. And in the second example, my parents work hard. How my parents work hard. So the word hard is an example of an adverb of manner. Now we have adverbs of time. These adverbs tell us when an action is done. Look at the examples. Children must return home before it is dark. Here the adverb is answering the question when the action is done, before. So before is an adverb of time. And in the second example, I am studying English grammar now. When I am studying English grammar? Now. So the word now is an adverb of time. Next we have adverbs of place. These adverbs tell us where an action is done. Look at the examples. It is raining outside. Where it is raining? Outside. The adverb outside is an adverb of place. And in the second example, please come here. Please come where? Here. The word here is an adverb of place. Now we have adverbs of frequency. These adverbs tell us how often an action is done. Look at the examples. I do my homework daily. How often I do my work? Daily. Here daily is an adverb of frequency. And in the second example, we should never tell lies. We should, how often we should tell lies? We should never tell lies. The word never is an adverb of frequency. Next we have adverbs of degree. These adverbs tell us how much or to what extent an action is done. Look at the examples. I am very happy. I am happy to what extent? Very. The word very is an adverb of degree. And in the second example, I have almost completed my work. I have how much completed my work? Almost. So the word almost is an adverb of degree. Now we have adverbs of reason. These adverbs tell us why an action is performed. Look at the example. He is ill and is therefore unable to come to school. Here the adverb therefore is giving reason why an action is done. Therefore, the word therefore is 
and adverb of reason now here interrogative adverbs these adverbs are used to ask questions words such as when where why how etc are used as interrogative adverbs look at the example where did the pirate hide the treasure the question is where so the word where is used to ask question and it is an interrogative adverb now we have relative adverbs relative adverbs are used to introduce a dependent clause and modify the verb in the main clause look at the example i know where he lives here the word where introduces the dependent clause he lives and modifies the verb in the main clause i know the verb know is modified by the adverb where now look at the second example she wondered why no one responded here the word why is the adverb which introduces the dependent clause no one responded and it also modifies the verb in the main clause wondered she wondered why the word why is a relative adverb now we have a worksheet to know how far you understood the exercise is fill in the blanks with the given adverbs the adverbs given in the brackets are anywhere regularly happily to and continuously the sentences are she needs to practice algebra the second sentence is the dog is barking dash and the third sentence is i was dash busy to notice the little details and the fourth sentence is the baby smiled dash in her mother's lap the fifth sentence is i could not find the bunch of keys dash by now most of you have done the exercises and now i tell the answer she needs to practice algebra regularly the dog is barking continuously i was too busy to notice the little details the baby smiled happily in her mother's lap and i could not find the bunch of keys anywhere here we end the class today bye bye dear students have a nice day